Hi there, Summer Starfish, Miss Michelle. I um, was thinking about offering an idea for kind of a mellow activity, something to do when you just kind of feel like being a little bit mellow. I've got some quiet music in the background, maybe, you know, after rest time or before rest time, just a little something just to kind of be thoughtful. Um, this activity, all you need is some markers. So I have several different color markers that I just had at my house. And you need some water and then a dropper or a pipette, which I think um, you should have had in a science kit. And then the other part of this activity is just a paper towel. So it's a regular paper towel. Now all paper towels might be different. This is the one I had at my house and I got to looking really closely at it. Can you see those really interesting designs? See some shapes? I see this round shape. And then what does this one look like? When you look really close with your science eye, you can notice some details. What does that one look like? Here, I'm gonna outline it. I'm gonna use a permanent marker. For the rest of the activity, we don't use permanent markers, but I had an idea I wanted to try. Uh, with the permanent marker, so that's going to be kind of the experiment part. So this part, I'm just going to outline the one part with the black permanent marker. It does look kind of like a butterfly. And then I'm going to pick a couple of colors and I'm just going to do some dots. I'm going to dot some blue on the inside and I'm gonna dot some yellow on the outside. So you can just draw and design and create as much as you like. I'm gonna do that one here because that's the experiment. I'm gonna set this one aside. This is one I've been working on as I was listening to this music so I've just traced around some shapes. This one I actually used the marker at first traced around some shapes. So once you get it filled in as much as you want to, you don't have to fill up the whole thing and you might be able to just go back and forth. Stop and take a little break, maybe come back to it a little bit later. I'm gonna add a few more colors. So, so I'm adding some dots and some lines. Maybe I'm going to fill this one in over here with more color. Now I don't want to press very hard because paper towels are absorbent, but they aren't very strong when you're coloring on them. So I don't want to push so hard that they rip. Okay, so once you've decided that that's where you want to stop, then we're going to do this part. So I'm going to just, remember when you use a dropper or a pipette, you push and you stick it in and then you open and it sucks or draws it up. And I'm just going to drop it on my picture. So because it is absorbent and it uses capillary motion to pull it away, it starts doing something. Now it looked one way, and now it looks a different way. What's happening when, it, ooh, do you see it moving? Whoa. So if you have a design on your paper towels and you want to trace around the design, go ahead and see what happens. Or you could just make different drawings or color in different things. Ooh, look at... So this one I use the permanent marker. And so do you see what happens to the regular marker? It starts absorbing and spreading out. The permanent marker stays there. So I was wondering what, that, what would happen and that's what it did. Ooh, look what happens when they start mixing. Does this remind you of anything you've ever seen before?
one time when I, my little boy was small, we did some tie-dye. This is reminding me a little bit of tie-dye, so I don't know. This is just very calming and very fun. And it makes all, look at that, wow. I'm really excited with how way that turned out. So I do wanna try this last experiment though, cause I, I think it did work, but I'm gonna try this other one. I'm going to just put this one on with the one shape that I made. Let's see what happens. Because I use permanent marker to outline. That's the part that's not going to change. Oh, and then the other one does absorb and spread out. So it gives a little definition. So as I said, you just need some water, dropper, something pr to protect your, your table with, and some markers and your imagination. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.